believe a lie that they're here and, and good here and that having natural kinky kingly nappy naughty peasy here you understand it's not good here you know it's not that's a, that's a lie that's a lie from the pit of hell you understand and we, we rebuke satan we rebuke the devil the devil's a liar and so the devil has been spreading this lie about our hair. And this has been messing up a lot of black folks' heads. Especially a lot of the black women. You know, I mean, the secret is already out. The genie is already out of the bottle, as they say. You know, so we have to deal with it. I don't know if the genie can be put back in the bottle. You understand? But since the genie is already out of the bottle, let's just deal with the reality of it. So that's one reason why we want to discuss this point and, you know, put in circulation. We know homeboy... Uh, uh, Chris Chris Rock has come out for a movie about this whole subject matter, a little comedy or something like that. So it should be interesting. You know, we hope to check that out when it comes out. You know, understand and see what that's all about. You know, but the, the the metaphors and the parallels, the parallels about this whole subject matter, like we touched a little bit earlier, just a couple of moments ago, we talked we talked about the comparison of the naughty or the nappy here or the woolly here. You know how. God says that the goats are on his left side, which is the, the cursed side or the non-blessed side, and how the sheep are on his right hand, how in Revelation it says that Jesus Christ has, has like wool, he's a lamb and he has like, he has hair like wool, you then in the book of Daniel, in the Old Testament, it says the same thing concerning the ancient of days, not speaking of the, the son, but speaking of the father, you know what I'm saying? Because the father, he who has the son has the father. So if you recognize what it says about Jesus Christ in Revelation concerning his here, metaphorically speaking of the here, then you can link that with the book of Daniel, where it speaks about the ancient of days, also have the very same type and texture of here, which is likened to that woolly here, which is likened to that to that lamb's wool, Yovas, that, that lamb's bread, the lamb's wool, but speaking of the here, which is likened to what they call kinky here, which we know as kingly here, or nappy here, or naughty here, or peasy here, so forth and so on. I mean the the adjectives the adjectives are almost endless to describe this here, both positively and then there's a lot of negative connotations about it. But not being deceived like Eve was, remember Eve was deceived by the serpent and Adam just stood, stood, stood next to her and he also ate of that. Now, if we look at the whole Garden of Eden thing, the Ganetta Eden, the, the, the Masale, the seminal work, you understand the metaphor of the Ganetta Eden, of the Garden of Eden. The interesting thing that we can find, just even concerning the issue of here and good here and black here and, and nappy here and naughty here and kinky kingly here, right? If we look at the you know, make a make a parallel to that. We see the same thing happen in the black community, because mainly it's the woman, a lot of the black females who have been deceived from being very small, very young, by their mothers and by their aunties and other women around them who also have been deceived. So it's like a self-perpetrating deception, you, you know, a self-perpetrating deception. And the men, the black men, basically stand next to them. And many of them, too, get deceived, too. And they take of this type of metaphorical tree and also perm their heads, too. You understand? Or, or, they, or they get, like, the jerry curls. And, you know, been there, done that. You know, get the jerry curls or the perms and so forth and so on. So they're here as well. They don't speak out. But now, where does the woman get this? Go back to the garden, the Ganetta Aiden. You understand? The woman, according to Haywan or Eve, she listened to the the subtle serpent. She listened to the serpent. You understand? Who, who was more clever, subtle, who was a deceptor, was a, was a decepticon in the garden, was a liar. She listened to the serpent. The serpent deceived her. She was beguiled. She was tricked. So a lot of black women getting these perms and weaves and everything else and feeling they look better and they, they feel feelings. The same thing that happened to Eve after she looked at the tree. You understand, after she was deceived, she looked at it and in her own eyes, the key thing about the Ganetta Aiden parable, in her own eyes, 
You understand? It's like the Bible says, there's a way that seemed right to a man, to a human being. But the end thereof leadeth to death. The end thereof is death. You understand? And the interesting thing about the whole perm, weave, and all of that, you know, all that that's messing up the people's heads, the women's heads and black people's heads and everything like that. The interesting thing about that, if you look at the perm, the, the, the creamy crack box or carton, you understand? If you look at the box that it comes in, it says that woman who are pregnant, notice what it says, it says like pregnant women should not deal with this. But then if you look at pregnant women's heads, who, women who are pregnant, they begin to hit permed as well. They don't, they don't even read the instructions on the box. The instruction on the box even states that women who are pregnant should not continue getting their hairs processed and permed. They, they should get off the crazy, the, the, the creamy crack for, for a moment. They should leave it alone. You always, now you have to ask yourself, well, um, why is that? Why is it that if a woman is pregnant, she should be careful and avoid perming her head? Is there a, is there a, a danger to her unborn child? You know, could they tell you that the, that the perm doesn't do, it's, it's, not, it's not harmful? <laughs> but if we will compare modern day black women, you understand, if we really do a real comparison, to the mothers and, and mothers' mothers, you know. I mean, let's go to the quality of people. You understand? And we could, don't blo don't worry, sisters. We we're gonna touch on black men because black men are not exempt from this. It's not we're beating up on women. A lot of women be oh you you, you woman hating you, you you hating on the woman because now black woman I got this. See these are crazy. These these are the crackheads. These are the crackheads. The heads have been cracked because if you know about the perm and everything, it cracks the, it cracks your head. It it does that. You understand? It cracks your head. I'm not just talking about the skin and the epidermal layers and the burns and other stuff like that, but it cracks your mentality. You become, you become different than who God created you. You're no longer in God's creation. You understand? You are rejecting God's creation. You're not working with God's. You are extremely, extremely and dangerously altering the workmanship of God. The handiwork of God. You are destroying His creation. You understand? And it's interesting that this is done at the head. You know, like if a person's head is not right, you can always tell for a lot of Negroes. You understand what they got up there on top. This doesn't mean that some people who have perms, you know, don't have some sense. They don't, don't think that. But the uh, the people who have these perms, who are mature enough, will will even admit. You understand that there is something wrong, and, and they, they're like like a, a addict. An addict knows I got a problem. You understand? I need some help. They may not know where to go for help, but they recognize that something's wrong. I don't. I know this is not right. You understand? I know this is not right. But anyway, just with the whole parable thing, if you look at the parable in the Garden of Eden, if you look at this whole thing about uh, about the hair, about black hair, good hair or bad hair, so forth and so on, the perm thing, and what's happening to the woman, you understand? Especially it's the woman. Notice it's the woman that are becoming deceived or beguiled. Notice beguiled, tricked. In other words, she was tricked. Eve was tricked. But now here's where we jump on the niggas now. Here's where we jump on black men. The black man is standing there and he doesn't he doesn't say nothing. Basically he also eats off of that same tree. And if you go back to like the twenties and the thirties, you see the same thing going on with the Marcel. You understand the woman had that hairstyle and then the men had the same hairstyle. Look at the Jerry Curl. You understand? The, the woman had this perm, the men started to also perm and, and to jerry their hair and do these other kind of things. And then now you see a lot of the black men are bald. This is a whole other <laughs> subject matter. This leads us to a whole other subject matter there too. But there's a connectivity to that. So we look at the parable in the Ganetta Adam, Adam and I, Haywan, Adam and Eve. You understand the trick, the beguiling, the deception there. How the black man, Adam, lost his headship, lost his rulership, because instead of defending his woman, you understand, even instead of confronting her, say, woman, what are you doing? You, you speaking to the serpent? Hey, serpent, get out. Get the, what, what the? Instead of doing anything, he just stood around. It wasn't like he was somewhere else. The Bible says that she turned to the man, her husband, that was with her, her husband, her husband, and she's doing all the talking. She she's doing all the she's doing all the reason, doing all the talking. Doesn't it sound a lot like how to make a slave? Aren't these facts? You understand? Don't we hold these truths self-evident? 
that, that these truths are evident in and of itself? Hmm. Food for thought. Are you starving? Are you hungry? Take this food for thought. Think about this for a moment. This is very interesting. So the man is standing next to his wife. You understand? And she takes of this fruit, so to speak, and she gives her husband, who is standing right next to her. What does her husband say? What is this? Does her husband say, what, the, well, what is this? Or does her husband say, what are you doing? Does her husband say, who are you talking to? No, her husband takes of this fruit and he eats as well. 